What is up, everybody? I am Ken, and it is time for another Blues Day Tuesday Blu-ray trip. That is right, guys. We are right outside of a Best Buy right now. We're going to go in there. We're going to see what they got as far as new releases and just physical media in stores. Hopefully, they've got some good stuff in there. This is a, a, a not a new Best Buy, but one that I haven't been to in quite some time because, to be honest, their physical media section shrunk substantially, and they stopped showing off those new releases. But I had to change up my route today. Uh, to accommodate for other errands that I had to run. So I figured it would be okay today because to be honest, like the stakes aren't too high as far as like the new releases. I'll probably be able to see those in like Target or Walmart probably. Um, so nothing new as far as like new steel books or anything. And, and last week I went to my Best Buy and they didn't have the stuff that I wanted as far as like Mortal Kombat double pack. So maybe I'll get lucky and they'll have that in here this week as well. And I'll get to pick that up. So Hoping for that, fingers crossed. But as far as new releases this week, guys, we've got Barb and Star go to Vista de la Mar. I hope I said that title right. That is coming out on Blu-ray. We also have Shadow in the Cloud starring Chloe Grace Moretz coming out. Um, a few other titles that I can't think of off the top of my head. Tremors and 4K is supposed to be re-released, but I doubt we'll see that in stores. But it's a possibility. Sometimes you get the arrows in these uh, Best Buys. But yeah, guys, the big thing that I want to accomplish today, and I'm hoping that I will find, and I'm willing to go to at least two different Walmarts to see if I can find it, is that Ten Commandments 4K. I didn't uh, order it yet on Amazon. I still want to try to find it out in the wild, out in stores, so I can make sure that my slipcover is in pristine condition. You know how we collectors are when it comes to our slipcovers. So yeah, guys, hoping I can find the 4K copy of the Ten Commandments, but let's go ahead and get into this Best Buy. Oh man, the parking lot for this Best Buy is kind of empty. Hopefully they still have physical media, guys. Is this going to be one of the Best Buys that just doesn't have anything anymore? Hopefully not. Let's see what they got. Alright guys, so they still have plenty of copies of this Wonder Woman 1984 Steelbook. Still plenty of copies of all the Wonder Woman. Nothing new on this side. Let's check the other side. All right, guys. So this Best Buy has seems to have done pretty much the same thing as my other one. Um, just about a full aisle, then a half a aisle. Uh, they still have copies of this District 9 4K Steelbook, which, to be honest, like I kind of want to own. Um, let's see. Still got this Hitchcock collection down here. Plenty of this. I highly recommend picking that up, guys. $54.99 is a great price. Uh, let's see, Antebellum for $12.99. I've just heard awful things about this one, so I'm not sure if I want to pick that one up. Oh, most of this stuff's pretty common, though, guys. We do have a little bit of a steelbook section over here. They have this kick-ass steelbook that came out last year. That's actually kind of tempting. It's only $17.99. Beauty and the Beast, Bloodshot, Spectre, Toy Story. Most of the stuff's pretty common. They still have this It's a Wonderful Life Steelbook. This is honestly one of my favorite uh, artwork on a steelbook. Love that. The only direct new release I'm seeing is the Shadow and the Cloud on Blu-ray for $15.99. So this is actually a dollar above what it was saying on Blu-ray.com yesterday. Still a very nice slipcover though. By a... Uh, vertical entertainment so yeah that's pretty much we still got friday the 13th part 2 steel books here though so that's cool still got copies of this gattaca steel book which i've been wanting to get got some joker here the 4k of that for 17.99 it's actually a good deal it's not usually that cheap plenty of 4k copies with slip covers hmm some of these Disney 4Ks on sale here, inside out for $17.99. Slipcover's a little damaged though. Otherwise, I might pick that up. All right. Not seeing much else, guys. Let's go ahead and get out of here. All right, guys. So I just got out of Best Buy, and uh, yeah, I didn't grab anything. There was some stuff in there that I kind of wanted, but nothing in there that I needed to pick up. I'm glad that we were able to see at least one new release in there. 
and uh, with uh, Shadow in the Cloud, but they didn't have that Barb and Star movie. They didn't have that new RLJE title, The Reckoning, that uh, the other one that I forgot when I opened the show, but that was one that I was interested in maybe picking up, and not because I've heard good things, but just because I like supporting RLJE, and I thought that would have been an interesting title uh, to maybe review on the channel, but it, it's possible we might see it at Walmart or Target, but I seriously doubt it, but yeah. I'm glad to see that this Best Buy is stocking new releases again because they, they had plenty of titles from like previous weeks. And the physical media section, it's still small. It's still shrunk substantially from the last time that I was in there, but it's no smaller than the other Best Buy that I go to. And sometimes it's cool to go into the different Best Buys and just see what they have compared to the other ones because, um, you know, some of their titles had slip covers that the other Best Buy that I have doesn't have. So, um, and they had that kick-ass 4K steelbook, which I have not seen at a Best Buy in months since it released. So that was cool to check out. But yeah, we are heading on to Target right now. And hopefully we see that Barb and Star Target exclusive release because I just might pick that up. Let's do it. All right, everybody. So it's been a while since I've been to this Target too. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they actually stock their new releases though. Unlike the other Targets I go to. Let's check it out. Right, guys so just got out of the target and i actually picked some stuff up in there today i was happy to see that they did have barb and star they had these plenty of exclusives left they had the blu-ray they had the dvd they also had the steel book of that earwig and the witch which is another thing i forgot to mention at the top of this episode but that anime the studio ghibli anime that came out this week they didn't have the regular shout factory but they did have the steel book which was cool so um i went ahead and picked up the barb and star uh lenticular cover for 17.99 so a little bit more pricey than it was on blu-ray.com uh both this and the blu-ray were actually the same price so uh but this apparently has 20 minutes of bonus content so it's not it wasn't a bad price it was only 17.99 so for a new release that's still a pretty decent price and yeah it's an exclusive it's got a cool lenticular cover and yeah i'm kind of just a sucker for the lenticulars and i hope this i've heard both good things and i've heard bad things about this movie so hopefully i end up enjoying it and i don't feel like i completely wasted my money but another thing that i want to note in there guys is the shadow of the cloud um on blu-ray was 30 dollars inside of target and it is only 15 at best buy so if you are going to pick up that release definitely go to Best Buy to pick that up. I don't know how much it is at Walmart, 
but $30 for a new Blu-ray release is most certainly not worth it. I don't know what Target is thinking with their prices. Sometimes they'll do that with their pricing. They'll just jack something up um, to extraordinary levels, and I have no idea uh, why they do that, but definitely go to Best Buy to pick that one up. And uh, uh, yeah, they had some good deals in there, though. They had Good Boys for like $7.50. Um, some other things in there. Cats was $10, which, you know, I, I couldn't let anybody pick that up, even if it was a deal. I had to dispose uh, of the cats. But yeah, there were some good deals in there that I kind of highlighted and pointed out to you guys. I almost picked up that Wonder Darkly uh, movie. But let me go ahead and show off this uh, next one, guys. This is one that I talked about wanting to pick up. I already own a 4K of this, but I wanted this steelbook last year. But this came out right at the beginning of the pandemic. So I wasn't really going to a lot of stores. I wasn't going to Best Buy. I was only going to Walmart for grocery shopping. And I picked up the 4K at Walmart because I was already there. Um, so I got this 1917 steelbook and it's a 4K steelbook. I think it's really cool that Target is actually having the 4K steelbooks because I've seen them bring over Best Buy steelbooks but make them Blu-ray. But now they're bringing over 4K steelbooks as well. So very cool, and I do love the design on the steelbook. I love this movie. It's my favorite movie of 2019, so definitely an awesome steelbook that I'm glad to have in the collection. Definitely something that is worth double dipping. Yeah, I was kind of on the fence about it, but I figured if I didn't pick it up now, and I went in next week, and it wasn't there, I would be kicking myself, so I went ahead and grabbed it. But with that, guys, let's go ahead and head on to Walmart and see if they've got that Ten Commandments. All right, everybody, the Hillbilly Hunter is back today at a new Walmart. I had never been to this Walmart. Let's go in and see what they got. See if they maybe have those rare 4K VHS tapes uh, that I've been looking for. Let's do it. All right, guys, so looking like most of the same this week, but I am seeing a new DVD uh, cover on Wonder Woman 1984 that I haven't seen before, so that's cool. Um, other than that, mostly the same stuff. Not seeing the Ten Commandments. This one honestly looks very bare as far as their physical media in this Walmart. Um, one thing that they do have is the 4K copy of Doolittle for 10 bucks. So that's <laughs> that's not a bad deal for Doolittle on 4K, to be honest. So if you're a Doolittle fan, you may want to go to Walmart. They have a bunch of random Blu-rays stacked up over here, but honestly not seeing it in any of this stack either so yeah let's go ahead and head on to the other walmart to see if they got it all right guys so the hillbilly hunter is back and i am a little tired i usually don't have two trips in the same day but i am pulling double duty today as we have got to find this 4k of the ten commandments let's do it all right guys moment of truth do they have the ten commandments why yes they do on 4k hell yes i am picking this up how's the slip cover though oh god slightly damaged up at the corner uh i don't know guys do i get this do i not uh you'll have to wait and see they do have that wonder woman uh 1984 dvd exclusive case here as well i don't think they had wonder woman at walmart last week when i came so uh, other than that, not seeing too much different here. They do have that Our Friend on DVD that I saw at uh, Barnes & Noble last week. So, mostly just the same other stuff, though, guys, that we see in here from week to week. Elimination Chamber. That one might be new. Other than that, though, I think it's all mostly the same. I mean, come on, guys. How often do you come across a gem like Major Pain in the Blu-ray bin at Walmart? I, I have to get this, right? They actually have this big standee this week, guys. So this was not out last week. That's nice. Haven't seen a big-ass standee in Walmart in a long time. So, uh, yeah, that is really cool right there. Looking to the other side to see what it looks like over there. Yeah, very cool standee here at Walmart, guys. Still don't know if I want to pick up Wonder Woman 1984, though. If I do, I'm going to do that Best Buy Steelbook. But, all right, guys, we got what we came for. Let's head out. All right, guys, so fortunately, they did have a copy of the Ten Commandments on 4K. And even more fortunately, I did go ahead and pick it up. So now I own the Ten Commandments finally in my collection, this 
four hour movie, nearly four hour movie, which who knows when I'm going to get around to watch. I'd like to think I'm going to watch this and hopefully review it sometime next week. I don't know. I'll put a poll up on my uh, YouTube because I really want to make sure that you guys are a part of what I review. So this week I'm going to be reviewing Scarface on 4K. I'll put up another poll to have you all pick which one that I review next. And if you pick the Ten Commandments, I will give it a review and I will sit through all four hours of this movie, something that I was not willing to do when I was a kid. So yeah, so it is a little bit damaged up here at the top right there, but you know, sometimes you get that. Other than that, it's really not in bad shape at all. So I'd rather take the chance and grab it at Walmart in this type of condition to take the chance with Amazon that could deliver it to me just all crinkled and messed up. So, or without the slip cover entirely. I'd, I'd rather have it at least with the slip cover, a little bit of damage up at the top. Sometimes you get that with a 4K with that metallic um, stuff at the top. You'll get a little bit of that damage. So I'm not going to sweat that too much. Another thing that I was super excited about, maybe even a little bit more uh, than the Ten Commandments when I saw this in the bargain bin, and you guys know what it is. You might think I was joking in there, but I absolutely love this movie, Major Pain. Um, I didn't even know it was out on Blu-ray. So yeah, this is an absolute staple of my childhood and you know killing is my business and business is good i have no idea if i'll leave that in the actual video but um i love this movie the cupcake scene with the x lax is just like one of the most hilarious scenes from my childhood that i remember um and i'm so happy to own this on blu-ray right here so yeah as soon as i saw this in the in the band i was like that is a must grab i don't care if i've spent too much money today uh, seven more dollars for Major Pain. I honestly would have paid like 10 or 15 for this, maybe even 20. So yeah, happy to have this one in the collection now, guys. So with that, we are done with today's Blues Day Tuesday shopping trip. I hit up a Best Buy, a Target, two Walmarts to find that Ten Commandments 4K. So I hope you enjoyed yourself. I sure did today. Please comment down below what you picked up this week. If you grabbed anything new, if you grabbed Barb and Star shadow in the cloud i hope you got it at best buy and not target with those price differences um leave all of that in the comment section below also be sure to like this video guys also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and turn on those bell notifications join me tonight because i will be going live with another collector another fellow blu-ray hunter uh alex thomas he's going to be coming on the show on my world's biggest collectors episode four to talk about physical media talk about movies to talk about all that awesome stuff so definitely join us live ask us a question i would love to have you there so yeah guys we'll see you next time